Hare Krishna. What is the Bhagavad Gita perspective and response to the Omicron variant of the coronavirus? It's come in the news now. There is now the significant, least different variant of the Omicron and virus of the coronavirus which is further spreading COVID. And for many people, this is just exasperation. Is there no end in society? Is our normal life ever going to be restored? Yeah, another disruption, flights are being canceled and people are being forced to stay at home. Schools are being closed, especially this is happening in America and Europe and in other parts of the world also. So there is a wide gamut of reactions, irritation, exasperation, apprehension, fear, panic. So let's try to make sense of what is happening from the perspective of the Bhagavad Gita, especially in terms of how we can respond effectively. The Gita explains that our perception is not just a function of, say, our situation, or even our decision. It is a function of some subtle factors that affect how we interact with the world. These are called the modes. The modes are subtle forces that shape the interaction between us and the world around us. And depending on the most prominent mode that we are in, these three modes are sattva, rajas, and tamas. They're called as goodness, passion, and ignorance. So depending on which particular mode we are in at a particular time, we will be influenced accordingly. Tamas, ignorance, it makes us underestimate our capacity. These three modes shape how we look at the world. So in the mode of tamas, in the mode of ignorance, we think, oh, nothing is in my control. Very little is in my control. And we sink into negativity. In the mode of rajas, passion, we overestimate our capacity. So I can deal with any problem. Like if somebody has to lift a heavy weight, a person in tamas thinks, I just can't do it. And a person in rajas thinks, I can lift it and they try to lift it and they may even break their bones because of that. And in sattva, in the mode of goodness, we estimate our capacity accurately. And then we function effectively thereafter. So now we ourselves may go through different modes at different times and different people may be in different modes at different times also. So, and the perspective from one mode and the perspective from another mode can be very different. So for example, with respect to the COVID situation right now, you can look at it from other perspective. If you consider a pendulum, in tamas, we go to one extreme and I think there's hardly anything I can do about it. Underestimation of our capacity in rajas, it is overestimation of our capacity. And in between, in sattva, it is a balanced stage where we estimate our capacity accurately. So that is what we need to do with respect to dealing with the Omicron virus right now, variant right now. So how do we apply this modes framework to uh, the variant? So broadly speaking, if there is tamas, there'll be despair, there'll be panic, there'll be helplessness. This will never end. Is my life ruined? I'm forever to just live in the home. What about my job? Which, if it can't be done from home, am I ruined? Maybe the world itself is doomed. Is the sign of end times? Previously, when the pandemic hit, every person who had an ideology used the pandemic to claim this proves how the danger that they were always talking about is about to come about. The world is about to come to it and unless we do this or do this or do this. So that just sinking into despair, that is a tamasic reaction. Then there's a, a rajas in the mode of passion, there's complacency, there is denial. There's no problem at all. This is just a media hype. This is just a hype from big pharma because they want to keep minting money. This is just a tool by the politicians who want to control the masses. There could be various responses where we just overestimate our capacity and, and trivialize the problem. Then sattva is where we 
it's broadly characterized by caution you observe okay right now the variant is has just come up how serious it is we don't really know we do know that it's far more transmissible than the earlier variants but what does that mean it mean is it more severe is it more lethal there have been large number of infections a significant number of hospitalizations but the number of mortalities have not been that many some researchers say that generally with the pressure of survival for the fittest the way is uh, microbes also survive is by becoming less hostile in terms of killing it's like a, you kill me or i will kill you world there cannot be much survival but if they just like common flu is very widely present but is not lethal maybe this is becoming like this we don't know its higher transmissibility does not indicate a greater severity now it could be it need might not be we don't know so caution would be no 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 panic but no complacency also just observe wait we go about our normal life but we are cautious about it however while sattva the response to the mode of goodness can make easy sense it is not very easy to apply it in our lives why is that because the modes can sweep us lower modes may sweep us like waves and when a particular mode sweeps us away it's very difficult to stay uh, to resist the waves if a giant wave is coming how much can we fight against it and that's why we need to connect to the anchor of krishna through the practice of bhakti yoga As krishna talks about in the bhagavata machitta sarva durgani mat prasada tarishasi if you become conscious of me you will pass over all obstacles by my grace so through our bhakti yoga practices we can pray to krishna and direct our consciousness toward krishna and seek shelter within him this doesn't mean that we deny the problem this doesn't mean that we re- re- neglect or reject the problem it just means we have a connection beyond this problem filled world so we don't know what the future holds but we can know and hold on to the one who knows and holds the future krishna says that he knows past present and future he is the lord of all the three phases of time and when we connect with him even amid all this uncertainty around us we can experience certainty we can experience calmness just as arjuna experienced at the end of the bhagavad gita after hearing krishna's message so too can we so to summarize how could we respond broadly speaking i'll talk about two d's not to do and two c's to do so avoid the d's of denial and despair which are in, impelled by the lower modes passion and ignorance and adopt caution based on sattva wait and watch and and connection connection means prayerfully faithfully diligently stay connected with krishna and in this way we can maturely face whatever this particular variant of covid brings us and we can pass through it by our intelligence coming from goodness and coming from krishna's grace thank you hare krishna